Hi, I'm Robert, Robert McKelvey, and welcome to Finding Ohm. Take a moment to take a deep breath if you would like. I do because it helps me a lot. <sighs> Mostly with my expectations. So, today, I would like to discuss what finding ohm means. It doesn't really mean anything. It could mean, I don't know, someone's hatred for me uh, somewhere else in the world. They could be mad that I'm teaching something they don't like. Or because I make someone feel happy. But it's not about me. Finding ohm is about the other. It's about you. It's about finding the home in our heart that many of us have dilapidated homes. Our homes are filled with hatred or anger or jealousy. And all, all of us have these emotions. All of us express these emotions at some point or frame of reference in our life. So, don't be ashamed to have these emotions. Don't be, don't be so hard on yourself. Because everybody's got a part of their home that's dilapidated. A little, needs a little work. Just use your little polish. So, let's clean the home. And we begin. Today we'll be discussing the fear of losing the good thing. What do I mean? Well, at some point in our lives, all of our lives, We've been afraid of losing the good thing. Perhaps a video game? Or a lover? Or a bottle of hooch? Mm. Some people love it. <laughs> or it could just be gasoline. People in my community here in Michigan have been speaking highly about how much gas prices are going up. Afraid to lose the good thing. Because we would have to work harder. To find peace again. And yeah. It may be hard to find peace. But the journey is worth it. It is. So take a moment and pay attention to a moment in your life when you were afraid that you would lose something good. Feel it. Go there. Be there. It could be now. All right, now we just gotta, you know it, fill ourselves with a little bit of joy <laughs> and a little bit of love and a little bit of peace and know that it's okay to be happy. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. That 
that was wonderful. Thank you for joining me on Finding Ohm. And a blessing upon you and all of your houses. And remember, even a dewdrop raises the ocean. It may not seem like much now, but bit by bit, as we progress through the class, hopefully you will find some semblance of growth within yourself. And do not accredit it to me. It won't be any credit to me at all. I'm merely pointed at the direction of which you may have gotten a result. But the work was done by you. As all teachers and student relationships, all relationships with a lover or a child or a friend, when someone else does the personal growth to move forward on their own, it's not because of the other. It's because they made a choice inside. You have a choice. I'm Robert McKelvey. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace. Literally. <laughs>